everyone! Hello! Welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Barb. I'm Dog Tor Coco. And I'm veterinary nurse Kula. And today, we are your hosts for this special episode of Ask Dr. Barb. To celebrate Halloween and in honor of Bat Appreciation Month, today we'll be talking all about bats. We even have a special guest who will convince all of you that bats are cute. Hit it, Kula! Well, first off, did you know that bats are actually mammals? They are the only mammals that can fly. Unlike birds, bats have trouble taking off into flight from the ground because their wings just aren't as strong. Bats have a much easier time flying when they start from up high. So hanging upside down puts them in an appropriate position for quick flight takeoff. Hanging upside down is actually a very comfortable position for them. Bats' claws are specialized, so they don't have to exert any effort to hang upside down. When they relax, special tendons lock their toes and talons into place, so they don't have to use any energy while hanging. They lock into place while relaxing and sleeping. Then when they flex their leg muscles, the toes and talons can release and they can fly away. Because bats are so small and they have specialized blood vessels, blood does not rush to their heads when they hang upside down like it would in you and me. Since bats are nocturnal, they're able to stay safely out of reach from predators when they are sleeping up high in a cave or a hollow tree during the day. When the sun sets, bats leave the roost to go find food. So there you go. Bats sleep hanging upside down because they're mammals and can't take off into the air like birds can, and it's a great way for them to hide from danger while they're sleeping or resting. Our next question comes to us from Parker in California. What do bats like to eat? Great question, Parker. Most bats eat insects. A single bat can eat up to 1,200 mosquitoes in a single hour. Worldwide, there are more than 1,400 species of bats. Most eat insects, and a lot are frugivorous, meaning they eat fruits, seeds, nectar, and pollen. A small percentage of bat species are carnivores, and only three species of bats eat blood. All three of them live in South America, and they usually prey on livestock animals, like horses and cows, while they're asleep, and it often doesn't actually harm the animal. The smallest bat in the world is a bumblebee bat, also known as the kitty's hognose bat, the smallest mammal in the whole world. They live in limestone caves in Thailand and are about the same size as a large bumblebee. How cute! The largest bat is a golden-crowned flying fox found in the Philippines with a wingspan up to six feet wide. Bats often get a bad rap due to myths and common misconceptions. In reality, bats have extremely important roles in the ecosystem, and a lot of them are adorable. Look at this one that kind of looks like Coco upside down. Don't believe me that they're adorable? Well, let's take a field trip to meet one of my favorite veterinary technicians and a cute little friend of hers. Come on. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dr. Barb. Hi, everybody at home. Sean is a veterinary technician at one of my absolute favorite places in the whole wide world, the Vancouver Aquarium in Canada. 
As her job, she takes care of a huge variety of animals from fish, snakes, sea turtles, sea lions, dolphins, even sharks. Sean, do you have a fuzzy, adorable little friend with you today? I do. I have a little friend with me. Um, I'm going to show you here. This is Batty White. That's and nice. she is a Jamaican fruit bat. Um, they live in tropical climates. And as their name suggests, they really like fruit. So she loves to eat banana, Aww. as you can see. Um, but yeah, they eat all kinds of different fruit. Banana? Eat your banana. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy White loves banana. She does. <laughs> Sean, can you tell us why bats are important for the health of the planet and for people? I can. Um, so bats, when, when they fly through the tropical forest, they actually poop out the seeds from some of the fruit that they eat. Um, and this actually helps with seed dispersal in tropical forests and regeneration of those tropical forests. Wow. They're so important and they also can feed on nectar like bees and help pollinate, including fruits and vegetables. And because they eat so many insects, they also help control insect populations. How cool. Can you tell us some more and maybe even show us her wings? Sure. So a bat's wings actually sort of resemble a modified human hand. So this is a bat's wing. Whoa. And you can see all of those bones are sort of like fingers or digits. Yeah. Um, so they have four long fingers and they actually have a little thumb. You can see her thumb there. Yeah. And they actually use that for climbing. Um, so they can, they can be super agile and climb around and get up and get down and whatever they need to do. And they can actually use it for finding food and for fighting and climbing. So it's and a, a multi-tool. Yeah, and holding banana, exactly. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> Sean, do you have any other fun bat facts for us? I do, actually. Did you know that a group of bats can be called a colony or a cauldron? Ooh. And that baby bats are actually called pups. Um, and that bats use echolocation to move around and find food in the darkness, similar to how dolphins find food while they're swimming in the dark ocean. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by with Batty White. <laughs> to convince everyone that bats are adorable, fuzzy, little misunderstood creatures. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> How cute was Batty White? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's bat fun facts and understand a little bit more about these misunderstood creatures that are so important for the planet and for people. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye, everybody. Please subscribe to Dr. Barb's channel and send in your questions to be answered. Until next time, keep up your love animals and enthusiasm, and of course, be good stewards of the oceans and planet every single day.